In this example, we want to find the sum of a series by examining the partial sums. Okay, so we're given the summation of 1 over 2 to the power n going from n equals 1 to infinity. So first, what we have to do is look at the, the sequence part of this series. So the sequence part is 1 over 2 to the n. Okay, so for 1 over 2 to the n, so let's write out the first three, let's write out the first three terms of this, uh, of this se sequence. So when n is 1, we're, okay, you're gonna, we're going to get 1 over 2 to the power 1. The next one will be for n equals 2, you get 1 over 2 squared. The next one when n is 3, you get 1 over 2 cubed, and so on. Okay, so now let's uh, simplify these. Okay, so you get, we get 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, and so on. Okay. All right. So now uh, we can use these to help us construct the partial sums. So remember that this is for n equals 1, n equals to 2. This will be for n equals 3. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and move these over a little bit. Okay. All right, so let's first um, do S1. So S1 is just the first term of this sequence. So that's for n equals 1, so that's going to be 1 half. Okay. All right, that's for this first one, okay. For n equals to 2, okay, we have, okay, for S2, that's going to be 1 half plus one fourth. Okay, so we look at both of these. For S3, it's gonna be one half plus one fourth. Okay, so it's gonna be S2 plus the value, at, the value of the sequence at n equals three, which is gonna be one eighth. Okay, so let's add these. Okay, so this is, so this will be one half so you get one half and one fourth, that will be three fourths. One half, one fourth, and one eighth, that's gonna give us seven eighths, okay? So we can continue this. So let's write this as S of N. This is gonna be one half plus one fourth plus one eighth, okay? And then whichever term is next, it's gonna be in the form of one over two to the N. Okay, so this, okay, we can write this as a formula. Okay, so S of N can be written as, okay, so this, the sum of the, the partial sums can be written as 2 to the N minus 1 over 2 to the N. So this can be proved using mathematical induction, or we can just simply look at the uh, patterns here. Okay, so S1 will be 1 half, S2 is 3 fourths, S3 is 7 eighths, okay. So if you think about this, okay, when N is 1 and you plug it into here, into S of N, so you're going to get 2 to the power 1 minus 1, that gives you 1 on top. And on the bottom you get 2 to the power 1, so that's going to give us 1 half. When N is 2, you get 2 squared minus 1, that's 3. On the bottom, you get 2 squared, which is 4. So that's going to give you 3 fourths. When n is 3, you're going to get 2 to the power 3 minus 1. That's 7 divided by 2 to the power 3, which is 8. So this gives us 7 eighths. Okay. So this is how we can come up with S of n. That's, how, that's the formula for their partial sum. Okay. So then what we can do is we can take the limit. So we want to find out what's happening as n goes to infinity. So we can take the limit of S of n as n approaches infinity. Okay, so we're going to take the limit of 2 to the n minus 1 over 2 to the n. So this can be written as, okay, 
limit we can split this up this will be 2 to the n over 2 to the n minus 1 over 2 to the n so we have the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 minus 1 over 2 to the n so taking the limit of this this is going to give us 1 because 1 over 2 to the n goes to 0 as n approaches infinity. So therefore, because the limit of the partial sums are approaching 1, therefore the sum of 1 over 2 to the n as n goes infinity is going to approach 1. And so that's the, the value of our sum. That sum is converging to 1. So over to the right, we have a a plot here that was generated using maple so this is the uh, plot of the partial sums okay so when when n is 1 remember that we get 1 half so that's here okay when n is 2 okay we get the value of 3 fourths okay when n is 3, we're going to get, we get 7 eighths, okay, and so on. So as you increase, as we in, let n go to infinity, okay, we can see that it's going to approach the value of 1, okay. So it will get closer and closer to 1, but it will never reach to 1, okay. So in a way, this is... This is another way, so this is just a, another expression for one, okay, in terms of the summation.